Hello and welcome to the market update report for the week ending March 5th, 2010. You know, in this challenging market today, there is a right way and a wrong way to sell a home. And I want to kind of go through with you several steps here on mistakes that sellers make when they put their home on the market. The first mistake is, I want to list high because I know someone will offer less. Here, sellers get really too caught up in the excitement of choosing a price. Unfortunately, uninformed sellers choose an agent who tells them that they will list at the highest price. This is by far the worst mistake a seller can make. The second mistake is really how do you establish value? There are only two people whose opinions really matter in establishing value of a home, and that is the buyer and the appraiser. Pricing is really part science and part art. What, are you, what you are really doing when, you, when you're establishing a price is you're, you're really establishing a range of value. Another mistake, sometimes sellers will ask, is the value too low? Well, actually, homes sell at a price that a buyer is willing to pay. There's not much danger in pricing a home too low. If a home is priced too low, the seller should expect multiple offers to drive the price up to the market value. The danger in pricing too high is having the home sit on the market for months. Mistake number four, here's where it starts going wrong. The seller didn't interview enough agents, and they chose the first agent because they agreed with the high price of, let's say, $300,000. And after six months, the home expires. Number five, it just continues to go wrong. The next agent then lists the home at $285,000, but still no offers. Months pass and reduces it again to $275,000. The sixth, sixth mistake, really more than a year passes now. The seller lists with a third agent and prices it at $250,000 and it's sold quickly. The sad part is that the comparables in the area justified a price of $280,000, but the home was on the market too long at the wrong price and the market continued to change on a weekly basis. This is what we call chasing the market. So, protect yourself as a seller. How much money does an expired listing really cost the seller? The financial losses often exceeds the extra mortgage payments, taxes, upkeep on the home, and of course the stress. Be sure to hire a professional real estate agent to price your home correctly from the beginning and reposition as needed throughout the contract. Thanks and make it a profitable weekend.